I don't want to call them arguments. Let's just call them discussions with friends and family as they question you about your carnivore diet. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today we're gonna, today is the first in a quick little series of videos. I don't know that I'm gonna get to one of these every day or I'm gonna put some other stuff in between, but over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be covering, as I said, I don't wanna call them arguments, just common discussions that we have with friends and family when talking about our diet or they question us about our diet. And today we're gonna to talk about vitamin C. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. You might be asking yourself, what in the world am I watching here, Bob? Well, basically you're watching me walk. 18 months ago, I couldn't do this. Now, I'm out here walking every day. I'm doing all my own yard work, cutting my own grass. I actually went to dance class last night again. I've been doing that for a couple of months now. This channel is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. I am 60 years old. I'm doing things I couldn't do when I was 40. A few things I couldn't do when I was 30. And now I'm out here doing all the things that basically I'm living a life rather than just existing. So why don't you help me get the message out that it's never too late to change your life. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down, either one. All uh, interaction with the channel does help get the word out. If you'd like to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, doesn't cost you a thing. And drop down in the comments and say, hi, Bob. All those things really, really help get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back, I'm glad you're here. It does mean an awful lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. Quick little announcement, not really an announcement. Just a reminder that the holiday season is upon us. I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but let's talk about there's some sales and things going on I invite you to drop down and look at the links down in my description that's it just look at them if you decide you want to check something out go ahead and check something out I do get just a little tiny commission if you buy something down there that's all I wanted to say about that it's the holiday season go check it out I think I put a current holiday deals link down there but I don't remember but anyway let's get on into this vitamin C thing that's one of the first things that our friends and family are going to ask us about well vitamin C how are you going to get vitamin C just eating meat because there are several um, food labels out there that say there's no vitamin C in meat. Well, as it turns out, a lot of those were uh, assumed. They didn't actually test the meat to see if there was vitamin C in it. They just assumed there wasn't, and they went with that. So there is vitamin C in meat. Not a lot, but enough. The reason we as carnivores don't need as much vitamin C as the so-called U.S. daily recommended allowance would have us believe is that vitamin C is taken up by the GLUT4 receptors in our cells. What else uses the GLUT4 receptors? Well, that would be sugar. So as Professor K 
his analogy is think of it as two fat guys trying to get through a revolving door. The bigger of the two fat guys, sugar, pushes the smaller of the two fat guys, vitamin C, out of the way. So to actually get vitamin C into our cells, when we're on a standard American diet loaded with sugar, we need a lot, you need a lot more vitamin C just to get some of it into your cells. Well, if the small amount of vitamin C is not competing with sugar, you don't need as much of it. That's my basic understanding, you know, because first, oh, vitamin C, you're going to get scurvy. Well, if we weren't getting vitamin C, they're absolutely right. But scurvy only takes about six weeks to set in. And, well, I'm at the 18-month mark. Tomorrow's the 18-month mark. But I'm at 18 months. I don't have scurvy. So I must be getting enough vitamin C from the meat and eggs I'm eating. And think about all those other long-term carnivores out there. There's not one not one documented case of scurvy in a long-term carnivore. And believe me, there are enough people against what we are doing because, you know, how dare they get healthy without the help of doctors and pharmacies. That if there was even a single case of scurvy out there, to be found, it would be all over. It would be in the news, it would be on published papers, it'd be in the newspapers, it'd be in magazines. There would be thousands of videos about it on YouTube. If there was even one case of scurvy. You know, it's like one of the most recent ones, you know, and you see all of the Influencers on the other side of the aisle talking about this uh, lady that had a stroke on the carnivore diet. Well, it turns out she'd been eating carnivore off and on for about six months. The disease processes in the body that cause a stroke take years to develop. Yet they would have you believe that her six months of carnivore caused her stroke. That's just absolutely ridiculous. But you guys know that's ridiculous. You've been watching all the carnivore stuff long enough that you realize that it's absolutely ridiculous. But because we have new viewers every day, I wanted to go back and cover some of these topics again. Today we talked about vitamin C. If you have anything that you would like me to cover over the next few weeks, feel free to leave that down in the comments. Also tomorrow, it's not going to air tomorrow, tomorrow is my discussion with Pim Jansen. So if you have any questions for her, you can either put them in the comments here, or I do actually have a post for that on my community tab. So if you have any questions for her, feel free to leave those down there as well and I will try my best to get them worked in amongst the things I already have for her. But that's what I've got for you today, folks. You're not going to get scurvy. You're not going to be deficient in vitamin C. There's plenty of vitamin C in meat as long as it's not competing with sugar. That's what I've got for you today. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.